So you have obviously probably had to do a bunch of fucked up shit for Seth MacFarlane, but what yeah. what was what what took it to a new level for you working with Seth on Ted? Cleaning up human shit on the floor. That pretty much took the took the took the height of our friendship. When he asks you to do stuff like that, do you even bat an eye or just like No. I go, yes, sir. Yeah. Do you I just... have to. I have no choice. He is my boss. <laughs> no, you know what? I trust Seth and I trust him in humor. I really do I do. I really do. Yeah, I he's think good he's at funny. It. He knows funny. And sometimes I'll be like, you're wrong. He's not. He's always right. Just don't tell him that because then he'll get mad. <laughs> so you're kind of part of, a, of an interesting threesome in this. In this yeah. Uh, but you're kind of one of the boys, too. And that Seth said it was really important for him that Laurie wasn't like, you know, a henpecky, hands on her hips kind of thing. Yeah, so, he, yeah. Was it fun to work with the guys and like not have to be that girl? Yeah, you know what? It was always a thing in the script of like I had the big my biggest concern for every rewrite that I ever read was I didn't want her to be nagging. I didn't need her to be one of the guys. I just didn't need her to be nagging. Um, I do believe that there's a happy medium. Like not all women are like beer drinking, football loving women, and not all women are like meh, nah, 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 nah. You know, there are some that are like halfway in. So I was like, I want to do this, and I'm like, you're gonna have to help me. And he was like, okay. And he did. He trusted me, and I trusted him. And um, and then, you know, Lori was born. But it was a very fine line. Because I do, you know what, I come from doing a lot of movies with a lot of guys for some reason. And um, and so there's an aspect, I guess, to my humor that's very guy-friendly. But I do believe that I'm still feminine, <laughs> and I'd like to uphold that a little bit for all the ladies. <laughs> for sure. So I see, have you seen the film yet? I saw it last week. Okay, so what did you think? I thought it was really funny. And I, I don't say this like I'm shocked, I just legitimately didn't know what it was going to be like because there was no third character present while we were shooting it. So, so much of it was dependent upon how Ted was going to look and how he was going to react. And so, it was really great. So, a big part of the, the film, and it's just like Brian on Family Guy, like you don't think of Brian as a talking dog. Yeah. About five minutes into Ted, yeah. you accept that Ted's just a... I mean, did you when you saw it the first time? Or you just... Yeah, I think you had to. If you couldn't accept the fact that that Ted was like just a regular character. And if he, co he constantly kept thinking that it was, oh my God, it's a talking teddy bear, the movie wouldn't work. You know, circumstantially, it's a, it's a, it's a annoying best friend <clears throat> who just so happens to be a bear. And, um, and I think that that's what he, he meaning uh, McFarland, produced so beautifully. So you've worked with Alec and Wellesley and, oh, yeah. and stuff before. What do you think doing, uh, you know, this is Seth's first directorial debut in live action. Yeah. And, you know, teaming up with those writers too. Yeah. But, like, what about Ted? Do you think it's going to reach a larger audience and who and why? But if I do. I really do. I, but I love this humor. So it's one of those things where if you're easily offended, no, this is probably not the right movie for you. But if you want to laugh and cry and have a great time, it's an hour and 30 minutes of just pure entertainment. There's no, like, nobody's shoving anything down your throat. Nobody's trying to prove a point. It's just entertainment. It's it's highbrow humor set in a very lowbrow environment. That's kind of gold. Yeah. I don't know what else I need, but I need to ask you one more question. Shoot. Um, or you could just leave me and go to lunch. Well. I'm kidding. Go ahead. Well, I mean, what's... <laughs> What do you think is the sickest thing that people are going to take away from this? Other than you picking up shit. Yeah. Um, there's there's some pretty interesting dancing with Giovanni Ribisi. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. That's when he's like aerobicizing. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I did this as my aerobicize move, but that was my, yeah, he's aerobicizing. Some people work Weird. out like that. That probably would be the grossest thing that somebody would take away. <laughs> But can you just talk about the ensemble of like kind of you've worked a, with a lot of the other actors, a lot of the other comedians like Alex and um, Warburton and the big supporting, you know, that not everybody from Family Guy is in this movie. <laughs> That's the bottom line. Seth was smart because he, I think, surrounded himself with people he trusts and people he likes and people that he has a shorthand with and people that he respects that respect him back and and ev who have all everybody did it for the right reasons. Everybody knew about this film for so long and. It supported McFarlane and his desire to make Ted for so long that I think we were all just very excited and very proud of him to just be able to do it. That's funny. Yeah. Works. Yeah. I'm good. Awesome. Thanks so much.